Welcome to Rank Rhino, where you can learn it all. Today, we'll be going through our picks for the best sports documentaries of all time. In this list, we're taking a look at the documentaries which gave us a realistic look at what really happens behind the scenes in the lives of competitive athletes and the operations of professional teams. Number 10. OJ Made in America I told him, OJ, you're breaking the laws of God. OJ Simpson is one of the most significant figures in American sports history and that's not just owed to his sporting performance. OJ's trial for the murder of his wife is one of the most discussed trials of all time, it being the object of many articles, videos and even books. With all this in mind, it's no surprise that OJ Made in America is one of the most watched sports documentaries of all time. And she says, if you damage that, you're gonna have to pay for it. And I go, well, if I pay for that, I guess I have to pay for this too. The film showcases a lot more about the notable athlete's life than just his NFL career and his trial. The documentary features highlights of his relationship with the Black Power movement, his inhumane drive to turn sporting success into mainstream fame, how he turned his trial from OJ vs. The Man to Black vs. White in the USA, and how the book, If I Did It, ended up being published by the father of a friend of his wife. The movie tells these stories through archive footage and dozens of interviews with major figures in his life. Number 9. The Battered Bastards of Baseball uh, To be able to see what was a pretty, pretty special uh, story. The Battered Bastards of Baseball is the classic story of raggedy underdogs wanting to show everyone what they're made of. The movie is focused around Bing Russell, a Hollywood actor who moves to Portland to buy a minor league baseball franchise. The Portland Mavericks weren't an impressive team with the roster being filled up by players who didn't manage to live up to their potential and couldn't establish themselves in Major League Baseball. The Mavs, but what happened in my father's life and I'm very, very proud of them for doing it. The story showcases a group of misfits that manages to compete at a high level and show up every team in the league around them while having fun at the same time. It's an amazing showcase of how self-belief can bolster your performance and aid you in facing against the best of the best. The Battered Bastards of Baseball is a classic tale of underdogs that can put a smile on anyone's face. Number 8. Sunderland Till I Die My firstborn son, I decided to call Niall after Niall. Sunderland Till I Die is touted as one of the greatest football documentaries ever. The film follows the British football club Sunderland following their relegation from the Premier League in the mid-2010s. Sunderland were a yo-yo club at the time, so they expected to be one of the top teams in England's second division, thus allowing the filming crew full access to the club's behind-the-scenes happenings. The club instead had one of the worst seasons in its modern history, getting relegated to the third division. We're gonna get this club turned around. It has to be done now. What makes Sunderland Till I Die an amazing documentary is the honesty and realism. There's no hand-picked scenes of the team doing amazingly. It features all of their struggles, financial woes and poor performances. The movie also captures the spirit of an entire city, speaking to the men and women that have supported the club their whole life. It's truly a film that captures the spirit of football for what it really is. Number 7. Hoop Dreams this is the job of most of your freshman coaches and guys like me. Despite its three-hour length, Hoop Dreams is touted as one of the most influential and inspirational basketball documentaries of all time. The film's format was seen as groundbreaking at the time of its release, with there being no sports documentaries that take the viewers so deeply into the world of kids channeling their dreams of going pro as a way to escape their harsh reality. I've never been to a school way out before, and I will be going to a school. The 1994 classic follows two black teens as they begin playing basketball for an elite program at a predominantly white school in the Chicago suburbs. The film crew follows the boys for over four years, fully capturing their high school careers, including coping with injuries, managing high tuition costs, and dealing with the pressure of wanting to go pro. The documentary's emotional and dramatic power is second to none, with the viewer fully immersing themselves into this do-or-die environment. Number 6. Icarus. Were you the mastermind that cheated the Olympics? Yes. Director Brian Frojo originally meant for this series to be used as a showcase of how insufficient drug screening in sports actually is. 
He wanted to dope himself to do so, but he found it hard to find a doctor that was willing to assist him. That is, until he meets Russian doctor Grigory Rodchenkov, the man responsible for doping the Russian Olympic team. Is it safe to say that when you started this project, you had no idea what you were getting into? Uh, 100%. As Frogov and Rochenkov's friendship grows, the Russian doctor reveals how he's in charge of a state-sponsored doping program and how this program has been going on for decades. The pair uses a documentary to bring light to the scandal, thus exposing how Russia has been cheating during the Olympic Games. These allegations led to the country's partial ban during the 2016 and 2018 Olympics and to Rochenkov living under witness protection to this day. Number 5. Senna. Not at all. He was in a position where he could... Before Drive to Survive brought a lot of mainstream appeal to Formula 1, there was Senna, one of the most underrated sports documentaries. This docu-biopic recounts the life of Formula 1 driver Ayrton Senna, who died in 1994 from injuries sustained during a crash. The film relies solely on archive footage, with there being no talking head interviews, thus painting an authentic portrait of a man who dedicated his life to his passion. That's what happened with me in Mexico, and that can happen here with other people. The film captures all of Senna's private and public moments, bringing to light his tragedies just as much as his success. The Brazilian was considered one of the most gifted Formula 1 drivers of his generation, one who brought passion to the sport. The movie acts as a beautiful tribute to his legacy, his talent, his fighting spirit and his posthumous influence on the sport. Number 4. Free Solo There is no adrenaline rush, you know, like if I get a rush it means that something has gone horribly wrong. In rock climbing, the term free solo refers to the practice of climbing a rock face without the assistance of any rope or other climbing equipment. This is a massive challenge with some stone faces being seen as practically unbeatable. One of those stone faces is Yosemite's El Capitan which was never successfully climbed without the assistance of rope. Until Alex Honnold showed up. You can go anywhere. You know, tomorrow morning I could wake up and I could drive to the East Coast and then climb there. The documentary Free Solo follows the unlikely star as he attempts to climb El Capitan without the assistance of any equipment. The movie gives you a sense of thrill and terror at the same time, even though you're watching from home. The terror of watching Honnold's ascent is almost overpowering as the audience is aware that a single slip would see him fall to his death. Free Solo allows you to witness Alex Honnold achieve a world record while feeling the same adrenaline and freedom he's feeling. Number 3. When We Were Kings I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospital... Muhammad Ali is the greatest boxer of all time, so it's fitting he has one of the greatest sports documentaries of all time. When We Were Kings was 22 years in the making, it following the lead up to Ali's rumble in the jungle heavyweight championship bout against George Foreman. The documentary speaks about the careers of the two legendary boxers, showcases interviews with notable personalities and explores the controversial decision of holding the fight in Zaire, which was under control of the brutal dictator Mobutu Sese Seko. Come get me, suck. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. When We Were Kings captures every second of the iconic rumble and the jumble, the tension, the legacy and the pressure on both fighters to win. It doesn't paint either fighter as a hero or a villain, it simply shows the fight which is often described as the greatest sporting moment of the 20th century in its true essence. Number 2. The Last Dance Go straight to the airport, boom. They don't hear it, see Dennis for 48 hours. Even the biggest basketball haters admit the greatness of Michael Jordan. Netflix's The Last Dance miniseries follows Jordan during his last year in the Chicago Bulls, although it regularly jumps back in time to cover all of the challenges, hardships and victories of his career. The documentary shows exactly how far he would go in order to become one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Would you tell him everything is fine? Oh. Okay, we've kissed and made up. Due to being a miniseries, The Last Dance offers a lot more depth than many other sports documentaries. It also includes his teammates, including Dennis Rodman, telling amazing stories and giving their honest opinions about Jordan. The series touches upon his immovable determination, drive for success and passion to become the GOAT. You also get to witness how one of the greatest athletes of all time turns himself into one of the biggest brands in the world. Number 1. Hillsborough the, the barriers, and they survived it. They were lucky ones. 
but they're scary. Few sporting tragedies are as disastrous and disturbing as Hillsborough, the event that led to 97 deaths and more than 700 injuries during a football game. This sports documentary is very hard to watch at times with it following all the heartbreaking moments of the disaster, the aftermath for all the affected families and the institutional cover-up attempts that followed. We went in a minibus. It wasn't even a, a, it wasn't even a minibus, it was a van. So we all... The movie functions as an outlet for the people that were affected by the tragedy to speak out about their experience. This includes policemen who were forced not to discuss the truth about the Hillsborough disaster due to orders from their bosses. The movie could not be shown in the UK until 2016 due to the inquest surrounding the disaster even though it was released in 2014. The 2016 version of the movie also includes the unlawful killing verdict, thus giving a just culmination to British sports darkest hour. Thank you for watching guys, what's your favorite sports documentary of all time? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe.